FM Town Hall, celebrating the release of her upcoming album, Art Pop. Here's Lady Gaga in the morning mashup on Hits 1. Shaking Gaga. hands with everyone, being all super friendly. Wow, I, like, I like this super fly, almost like, oh, She's wow, looking all chic. fabulous in her white, the white hair, the white outfit. She, you look like yeah. you're on the runway, Mama. Yeah, what's up with that? I like that. Hey. Uh, her saying hi to all the fans. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God, look at this. Everybody's getting a little touch. Please sit. I'm doing this already. Boy, are you famous. <laughs> my goodness. Boy, what is the last Twitter account? I'm trying to think. My goodness. You know, I don't even know. What is it, 40... Four, 40 40 like I've lost yeah. counts. Forty-six. I don't really. It's somewhere like forty-five. I think. I'm Something not sure. I don't. I don't check my followers every day. Yeah, but give or take a million, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah, on the, on the fame, what surprised you as being a really, really big song? What What, what, what surprised you? Off the fame. Yes. Um, all of them. <laughs> I've been I've been writing music since I was twelve years old, eleven years old, and I um. Uh, was writing finally. This was my, this was my second record deal, uh, my second production deal. It was kind of a intense experience to be, you know, working toward that that breakthrough single. Yeah. And I I finally found kind of my way of making it onto the radio, which is I was able to, you know, bring in some of my passions for uh, dance music with uh, glam rock and uh, the seventies and the eighties. And so I just. I really got lucky. I mean, yeah. the truth is, I wrote a song that connected, and I, and then after that, I think because, you know, my wonderful fans, they they fell in love with everything and not just the song. That's why I'm still here, and I'm really grateful for that. And so, thanks. Well, speaking of your fans, questions are, yes. are are out there. Let's let's start with you. What's your name? Oh, hi, Lady Gaga. My name is Nicole. Hello, Nicole. And, and my question is, when you were a kid growing up in New York City, did you ever imagine that you would be named the Glamour Woman of the Year? You know, no, not really. I didn't. And I and also, um, I just, I always knew I was destined to be a performer and that I was destined to be on the stage, but I did not know how big it would get. And I didn't really care. I mean, I always tell people now I... I refuse to do what I don't want to do. I want to do what I want with my body. <laughs> I want to do what I want because when I don't get to do what I want, I'm miserable because I'm an artist and I need to create what I want to create in order to feel my own heart beating, to feel my own soul, to feel like I can breathe. So um, I, I'm just really grateful to be here and I, I never would have imagined that no I wouldn't be accepting Glamour Woman of the Year especially earlier in my career when everyone thought my outfits and everything I was doing was so weird and now now they're all, you know it's always you look fantastic and I'm thinking man have we come a long way <laughs> oh, you look so sexy and I'm like guys they think I'm sexy now it's so weird but you know back when I first started I mean even just coming in in an outfit like a cowboy hat was like such a shocking thing for everyone and uh, I'm just happy that I stuck to my guns and um, I think that that's why Glamour gave me that award. Uh, I think it's mostly for my phil philanthropy and also for my different perception of what it means to be glamorous. I don't think it's about being conventionally beautiful or um, necessarily looking really rich every time you leave the house or luxurious. It's about knowing who you are and, and fighting for it. When I, when I wear clothes and when I perform, I'm fully prepared to accept any repercussions of that because I, I believe in it in my heart. Uh, so in, in another way, it's quite easy, I guess sometimes because I, I i i know that it's the right thing to do it's got to be hard you know being lady gaga it's hard to do what you want anymore when you're this famous is there something that you miss just like being able to walk down the street or an activity like a civilian activity that you miss doing it's hard for you to really do i anything. miss them all to yeah. be fair i mean yeah if i could just be totally honestly i mean i i miss them all and uh that was a real struggle for me when I was in the wheelchair because I was terrified of the fans getting more and more upset because I, I felt the more and more they saw me in the chair, the more kind of stressful and upsetting it was for them. And I didn't want them to feel that way because I was, you know, look, my wheelchair time was temporary and for some people it's not. And that's what I kept, you know, telling myself, even if I can never dance or perform the way I did before, I'll be able to walk, you know. And I, one of my best friends, Emma, who actually, she's going to be with me at the Glamour uh, Women of the Year award ceremony. She's been in a wheelchair her whole life and she's one of my closest friends. So she gave me a lot of perspective on all of this. And 
But I do miss going out because it feeds my creativity. But I actually go out and you don't always notice. I was going to say, I'm sure your wardrobe uh, makes for some easy customs. N- well, oh, you- I mean, I, I know how to I know how to fly under the radar. But it's, you know, my fans can smell me. <laughs> and it's like no matter how far away or close they are, they always find me. So, but they, they, and you know, I've been living a lot in Chicago mostly. And I actually find Chicago to be really, really cool about, you know, me and what I do. And it w- became a big source of inspiration on the album, like with R. Kelly and uh, just with DJ White Shadow, who's from Chicago. And uh, also just becoming interested in how Chicago music affected, you know, French house and techno music as well as German techno and house music. It just sort of became something something that I really became obsessed with and they let me go out and you know have drinks and not be you know great. feeling Chicago's too crazy like New York cleaned up a little bit yeah like New York straightened up yeah. but I Wait. love New York too and I actually can go out like on the Lower East Side pretty easily because I know like everybody down there and they're just like oh welcome back has someone ever said oh it's like you're Lady Gaga and you're like no I'm not like did you ever <laughs> I mean, deny being you it's easier to do that in New York because okay. you know everybody kind of has a you know, a thing down in, especially in that neighborhood, and they'll be like, Are you Lady Gaga? And it's, No. No. <laughs> no what do you mean? Don't be silly. And then they'll be Me? like, Okay, oh, sorry. And then they'll walk away and I'll go, Raw, raw. <laughs> <laughs> Well, everybody's excited to be here. So many fans excited to be experiencing this with you. Tons of questions, tons of stuff we want to talk to, but can we just so play? Sorry, that was a little boring, but here we are now, and you can ask me whatever you like. Not boring. Just wanted though. to, you know, just coast right through that. But we're just gonna start out with a song. We're gonna we're gonna take it back real quick. Is that okay with you? Yes, of course. All right, we're gonna uh, rock out a little Just Dance, the Sirius XM Town Hall with Lady Gaga. Hits one. Exclusive Sirius XM Town Hall with Lady Gaga and the Morning Mashup on Hits One. Give it up for God. Loving that. But if you don't mind, I just wanted to introduce you to the first experience on the app, uh, which is coming out uh, at the same time as the album. Uh, this is Petka LLC. This is a corporation that I started with the House of Gaga with my creative collective. And I found some really young, amazing, talented young people that built it. Uh, and I'm the architect behind the ideas, I guess. The mastermind. Well, you know, I don't really like that word because they're actually all masters at what they do. And I didn't code this myself, you know. <laughs> so I like to give them their credit. They did a beautiful, clean job. But th- this is Petka, and this is not exactly how it looks on the app. The visuals are, but you will actually be able to answer the questions that she's asking you. Uh, but we only have the test flight with us, and sh- you only see it one time. Hello, my name is Petka. I am the interface of this application. Before you can exist in the universe of Arca, I must first generate your name. Please type in your name. Now it's time to find your location. Is that okay? I am now able to scan for your aura. Now, please touch the screen. There you are. This is an aura. This is your aura. It's very young. An aura is a unique representation of your existence in the Art Puff universe. It will grow and change over time as you travel through the app, discovering new things, creating new projects, and meeting new auras both alike and the same. Wow, oh, super cool. Thank you. Oh. That's high tech. Thanks. Yeah, that was like super trippy. I loved it. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. And so that's the beginning of the experience. Okay. And the app is free. And so uh, you'll be able to hear the album just like this. So we created what is like an old fashioned vinyl player. I love that. Yeah, super cool. Uh, but it's a little more high tech because you actually can go back and forward when you're listening to the song and it will skip while you're playing and you can. Scratch you know, scratch and stuff. I don't have the music up for you to hear right now because it's not out. So I, you know, can't redeem it off of iTunes just yet. But that's what you'll be able to do. Um, at the same time that you're doing that, you can just uh, drag the screen over. And if you sign up for littlemonsters.com, which is my social media network, Backplane actually did all of the um, interactive uh, c- communication side of the app. Everything else was designed by the House of Gaga. But what we did was is we just uh, connected my social media site with this app so that while you're listening to any of the songs on the album, you can click on a chat and you can go in and talk with people in real time around the world about your experience with the music. Uh, now, this is on um, the front of the album cover. This is uh, 
something that was really um, sort of brought into existence uh, artistically by the sculptor Jeff Koontz. And uh, so he was very kind to let us use it uh, on our app uh, to really teach my fans about the artistic experience that he goes through when he's creating and the one that he really let us borrow uh, for this experience. Uh, then uh, we get to this portion and this is the animation portion of the app. So you can um, click on um, any one of these animations and start to animate your app. So you can click on something, a color for example, that has the word OMG or WTF or Slay or Devastated or all these sorts of things that I notice that my fans do uh, when they're on the internet. So it's a way for them to communicate on a more, you know, uh, easy level when you're on the internet. But the idea was to create an interactive visual experience that incorporated what Jeff loves about art and what I love about art and uh, making it something that uh, the fans could communicate with each other through uh, visuals, which they do with me all the time. Wow. And then there will be Gata TV. This globe here on the bottom will actually move in real time at some point as well and you'll be able to see roughly around the world where people are um, accessing the app and where they are and then your aura will stay right here. So all of the things that you create while using the app, they will be actually floating in this space and your aura will change over time. So the aura will actually change. It's your, your color will be different from anybody else's. The light of your aura will be different from everyone else's. And if you use the app a lot, it will be very, very active. If you don't use it very much, the light will dim and it will get very slow. So it actually is an uh, expression of your personality, but only as it relates uh, to everyone else on this particular app. Wow, so much, wow. For the, so much for the basic CD release, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a, I mean, what, you put a lot into that, huh? Uh, we've been working on it for two years. <laughs> I, was, I would imagine and, so. But, you know, I was in a wheelchair for six months. So, you know, it, I had a lot of time. And, you know, I'm returning to a lot of the earlier things that I was doing when I first came out, you know, with the fame and the fame monster. I was always interested in fashion technology, uh, 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 visual integration, and how these things really can enhance the uh, music experience because we don't have record stores anymore. Right. And it's a bummer. It, it is a real bummer. Yeah. For me, I used to, like, wait outside for Radiohead. And, and hope that they would sign my record and it was a big deal and we don't have that so I thought okay well I can't always be in a record store to do signings and there's not that many right around the world but what I can do is create this uh, this interactive app experience so that they can feel close to me and they can chat with me they can upload their own images and then chat with me you know on Twitter. Uh, so I really just wanted to enhance that experience and um, I was really excited about returning to this because I really made a decision not to with Born This Way because I felt that the message really needed to be paramount and I really went on a crusade around the world with my team and with my fans to mm -hmm. spread this message of love and acceptance and uh, standing up against intolerance. But now because I have that sort of heartbeat behind everything I do, I feel that I can return to technology but that there will be a heart inside the robot. Awesome. All right, I think it's time we get another fan question here. Don't forget to use the hashtag at home. Lady Gaga on hits one. So who do we have with the question? Hi, my name is Dariana. Hello, Dariana. My question is, I read that you will be starring in an ABC holiday special with the Muppets that airs on Thanksgiving. Did you get to give Miss Piggy fashion advice? I waka 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 did. Uh, you know, I had, it was a little bit stressful with Miss Piggy as usual because, you know, Kermit and I used to date. And so it was, you know, a little bit of a challenge at times, but the special turned out really well. And uh, I'm really excited for people to see it because I think some people think I'm like just really shocking or crazy for the sake of it sometimes. And I actually never think that I'm shocking or crazy. <laughs> it's normal to me. And uh, it's like that at the Muppets, you know, whatever they do is not shocking or crazy for them. It's just the Muppets. So I Phenomena. think. Yeah, phenomena. I think the uh, the Thanksgiving special will serve serve to show the kind of like heart that I have. Who is your favorite puppet? Oh, don't make me do that. <laughs> I well, you know, I mean, Kermit and I were together for a little while, okay. so I have so to. So by say default, him. Yeah. it has to be him. 